Hey guys, um, I'm just in the middle of disking some corn stalks, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a very different tractor. This is my new tillage tractor. Um, it's a 3588, or some people call them 2 plus 2s. I'm looking to do another video on it later date, but I haven't gotten there. So this right here is the hay field that I am putting in. Um, the stalks were left very long. So I wanted to break them down a bit, even though it's getting zero tilled in. Um, a little discussion about the Ontario hay market. It is very expensive for hay right now. It was very expensive through the winter. So I typically expect after an expensive year in hay, it drops drastically because a lot of people get back into hay and put their own hay in so that they don't have to pay as high a price because they felt they got ripped off. Um, it's just all depending on the weather. Last year, there wasn't a lot of guys that got second cut off, or if they got it off, it was very minute. So what ended up happening was, is the dryness from the season in the midsummer forced a lot of guys to feed hay in the middle of summer. So it cut their demands, or it cut their supply down, and their demands went up, and they ended up needing hay around, I would say, ah, February was really where you saw a big demand and the prices went up accordingly and i know that it's going to be cheaper next year because that's typically what happens but i don't mind putting it in i know that once i get the corn stalks out it'll be a premium quality product i mostly put in timothy alfalfa that's normally what i am um that's normally what i put in there's also some grassy mixes that are mostly a mixed grass and that's just in case i have to pass your part of it um, I wanted to have something that was both um, economical, um, I, could, I could graze if I needed to, but also that I could use it for sheep, horses, and cattle. I typically sell most of my hay to horse guys or to uh, sheep guys, so I wanted something that I could use for both, or all three actually. So that's what we're doing, that's what we're putting in. Um, I'm trying to get these corn stalks knocked down. Getting used to the tractor, it's a little bit different. I'm not used to an articulating tractor. By the end of this, um, I was a lot better. Um, I kind of knew where the tractor was going to go when I turned. I didn't have to overthink everything all the time. So that was nice. Um, it's, very com it's very comfortable as a tractor. It is an older tractor, so it does grind a little bit more. It does shift harder. And it does have its little kinks, but it's kind of expected from a tractor of its era. And I don't mind that. And that's why I didn't mind getting this tractor because it was about price. To be able to find a tractor in this horsepower range is awfully expensive. It's, um, I'm just noticing and watching my freaking camera. It's focusing in on weird stuff. So, yeah, it's... Back to what I was saying, <laughs> yeah, it did. I didn't mind picking that up. Uh, it's a good tractor. I got it at a cheap price, and that is why I got it. I'll do another video on it again, but thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. As always, if you have any ideas or concepts or things you want me to answer in a video, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thanks a lot.